In this video we will show how to set up SSL VPN connection. SSL VPN enables remote users to access private network resources via a secure pathway. We are going to look at two different SSL VPN scenarios. SSL VPN web mode allows remote users to securely access all applications in the web browser. The limitation of the web-based mode is that the remote user can only access browser-based applications. SSL VPN tunnel mode allows remote users to securely access web browser and non-web browser based applications in a private network. SSL VPN tunnel mode can be configured as full tunnel or a split tunnel. In the full tunnel mode scenario, the remote user will access the internet via the secure tunnel using FortiClient. This of course can cause heavy load on the VPN connection and slow the connection speed. In the split tunnel mode, the remote user will access the private network through a secure VPN tunnel using the FortiClient, client, but the remote user will still be able to access the internet directly without going through the SSL VPN. The FortiGate setup follows the same steps for both the web and the tunnel mode, with only minor differences. We are going to configure the interface and the firewall address, then we will create a user entry for the remote user and VPN portal. After that we will configure VPN settings and create a firewall policy. Next we are going to connect to our FortiGate web interface. We will configure the interface and the firewall address. In our case the port 1 interface connects to the internal network and port 2 is the internet facing interface. Go to network interfaces and edit the internet facing interface. Set the IP network mask. Edit port 1 interface and set its IP network mask. Click OK. Next configure the user and the user group. Go to the user and device user definition to create a local user. In the production environment you are more likely to add a group rather than a single user. To create a user group go to the user and device user groups. Next configure the SSL VPN portal. Go to VPN SSL VPN portals to create a VPN portal. Give it a name. Enable the tunnel mode if you are setting up SSL VPN for the tunnel mode. Configure the routing address and add the IP range for the remote users. Configure the other options as applicable. Configure the host check. The host check allows FortiGate to refuse the connection to the remote user based on certain criteria. For example, if the user operating system or operating system type fail to meet a certain criteria. If applicable, enable web mode. In our case, we will enable both the tunnel and the web modes. Configure the applicable options. You can set up predefined bookmarks too. This can save time for multiple remote users who would not have to define the bookmarks themselves. You can also enable 40 client download for the remote users. This way the remote users will have an option to download the FortiClient client from a specific location on the internal network. Next configure SSL VPN settings. Go to VPN SSL VPN settings. For listen on interfaces select the internet facing interface of the FortiGate. In our case it's port 2. Set listen on port to 10.443. Notice that the IP address here is showing the internal IP address of the internet facing interface. The remote user will actually be using an external IP map to this one. Choose a certificate for the server certificate. The default is Fortinet factory. Specify the mode for assigning client settings. In the authentication portal mapping set the portal to the one you created earlier. By default all users and user groups will use the same portal. You can also assign different users and user groups to different portals. To do that create a new authentication portal mapping for users or user group. Configure SSL VPN firewall policy. Go to policy and objects IPv4 policy. Fill in the firewall policy name. Incoming interface must be the SSL VPN tunnel interface. Choose the outgoing interface. Set the source to all. If you have a specific user group, add it to the source as well. Set the destination. In our case, we will set it to all. 
Alternatively, you can restrict the destination to a specific internal subnet. Set schedule to always, service to all, and action to accept. Fill out the rest of the settings as needed. Enable this policy and click OK. Now that we have configured the SSL VPN settings, we are going to simulate a remote user connection and see the results. Let's start with the SSL VPN web mode. In a web browser, we will log into the portal using the credentials you've set up. Remember that the remote user will need to use the external IP address of the internet facing interface. In the portal with the predefined bookmark, select the predefined bookmark to start a session. Users also have the ability to create their own bookmarks. Now verify the list of active SSL VPN users. On the FortiGate side, go to VPN Monitor SSL VPN. Next, we are going to look at the VPN connection using the tunnel mode. Download FortiClient from www.forticlient.com. Open the FortiClient console and go to Remote Access. Click on Settings, add a new connection. Set VPN type to SSL VPN. Set remote gateway to the IP of the listening FortiGate interface. Remember that the remote user will use the external facing IP address. Select customize port and set it to 10443. Save your settings. Use the credentials you've set up to connect to the SSL VPN tunnel. In case of the full tunnel mode, all traffic will go through the VPN tunnel. In case of the split tunnel mode, only the traffic to the private network will use the VPN tunnel. The remote user will still access the internet through the local gateway. Go to Monitor SSL VPN Monitor to verify the list of the active SSL VPN users. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. And for more videos, please go to video.fortinet.com.